capture, recapture. This is definitely one of the least popular topics. Let's have a look, see if you can do it. When you get it, it's not too bad, guys. Have a look. The question says that Shirley wants to find an estimate for the number of bees in her hive. On Monday, she catches 90 of the bees. She puts a mark on each of them and returns them to her hive. On Tuesday, she catches 120 of them and she finds that 20 of these bees have been marked. We're asked to work out an estimate for the total number of bees in her hive. What are we going to do? Well, we need to make sure that the fraction of the bees that have been marked is equal to the fraction of the bees afterwards that are caught and have that mark. So in other words, we can say that 90, which is the number of bees that have been marked out of the total number of bees, is going to be equal to the fraction of the bees that have been caught, that have been marked. So that's going to be 20 out of our 120. So the fraction of the bees that have been marked has to be equal to the fraction of the bees that have been caught who have been marked. So we say that 90 out of our total number is going to be equal to 20 over 120. We can simplify this fraction, divide top and bottom both by 20. We're going to get 1 over 6. So the total number has to be such that 90 out of that number is equal to 1 over 6. Um, 90 times by 6 is 540, so 90 out of 540 is going to be equal to 1 over 6. I ran out of room there, so I had to explain it in a little bit of a different way. Hopefully this makes sense. Our total number is going to be 540 because this is the number of bees, which when we have 90 of them marked, gives us a probability of choosing one of 1 over 6.